Hello and welcome to Excel-Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-Templates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Okay, uh, we've been focusing on the last couple of episodes on Excel charts that are embedded, which you see here, versus Excel chart sheets. So typically your Excel uh, chart, when you create it in Excel, um, it will just embed itself in this worksheet. So you'll see here it's movable, sizable, and uh, if you create a chart sheet, it fills up the entire worksheet with only the chart, as you see here. Uh, and it also puts it on a worksheet called Chart 1, Chart 2, etc. Uh, on the worksheet tab. Now, uh, these are also movable and sizable as well um, within the chart sheet, but it's all white space behind and um, they're actually kind of difficult to use. The only reason I would assume you might want to use a chart sheet uh, is to uh, if you like to print your charts, uh, Pete, one of our fans, had said that that's the only time he uses it as well. Um, if you want a full chart to print on an 8.5 by 11 or whatever paper size you're using, chart sheet might be the best way because uh, back on the embedded charts, you may have to drag and size it and you have to get rid of your grid lines sometimes. So it just really depends on what your usage is. Um, now let's say you created an embedded chart uh, within your worksheet and you actually wanted to move it or get it to a chart sheet, um, what you need to do is you need to select your chart, right click on it, then you have this option right here in the pop-up menu called move chart. Um, also, uh, you can click on your chart, you can go up to your design ribbon. In your design ribbon, way over on the far right in Excel 2010 and 2007, you'll see that same button called move chart. Now, when you do that, um, what you will see is you have two options. You can move it to a chart sheet, or you can move it to an object in another chart, uh, another worksheet. So if this would be moving it to, say, sheet two. That is just going to leave it as an embedded chart. Now, if you put it to um, a new sheet, it's actually going to create this chart sheet, fill up the entire thing, and that's the only thing that you'll see on that worksheet. So let's go ahead and move this one to chart two. Uh, it has moved our chart over to chart 2 worksheet tab and you can see our charts there now it's uh, highly customizable within this but not much uh, beyond that uh, in the, within the worksheet now um, what you want to do is if you have your chart in an embedded chart sheet like you see here and you want to move it back to an embedded chart within a regular worksheet what you can do is once again select your chart go up to the design ribbon I would really recommend then go to move chart and uh, do the same thing to move it back and embed it in the worksheet. The reason I say that's the easiest way because if you happen to be within the chart and you select a series, you select a plot area, if you right click on it you'll notice there is no move chart. You have to kind of be in this white space or highlight the whole chart. Then you will see move chart. Um, or if you, uh, and then if you right click outside of the chart you notice I'm not getting anything. I'm just right clicking and I'm not getting any pop-up menu. Same thing within the embedded chart. If you have an embedded chart and you click on the plot area, you'll see that move is not a choice, so you kind of have to select in this white area out here within the chart, then you will get a move chart in the pop-up menu. So hopefully this helps. If you're looking for printing your Excel charts uh, within Excel, uh, moving them to a chart sheet might be your best option, but they are a little inflexible. Uh, and not many people use them anymore. And it's like I said, I couldn't even find a way to make it my default uh, is to create a chart type, uh, I'm sorry, uh, and chart sheet as my uh, default when creating a new chart. So if anybody finds it out, please post it in the comments below. Uh, come back for a little bit more about uh, chart sheets tomorrow. I'm going to show you something you didn't know you could do. Once again, this is Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog and also don't forget to uh, subscribe to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.